What's up, guys? Your boys are back. I'm Ryan, my man, George. What's up, guys? How you living out there? Shout out to the free thinkers, of course. Shout out to everybody that's been following us on Defter Radio, which is our Instagram, along with DefterRadio.com, our website. Follow us on both. Great way to support the channel. The information, of course, for both will be in the description. And it's also a great way to get on our radar as far as requests are concerned. We're always on DefterRadio.com. Just checking to see what you guys want us to do, so make sure you join. And as always, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Make sure it's set to all so you get all our videos as they drop. Up and coming artists, man, make sure you check out the link in the description. We'll do about 60 seconds of your song in front of one of our up and coming videos to get you some exposure. So if you're interested in that, make sure you check that out, man. All right, man, getting back to Queens Reich. Uh, Empire's the name of the song that we're going to do today. We've done Operation Mind Crime, mm -hmm. uh, Take Hold of the Flame, and Eyes of a Stranger. Yeah. And by the way, uh, Operation Mind Crime and Take Hold of the Flame is on Patreon. So if yes. you are, and Def to Radio. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you check those out. Just wanted to make that clear because I know I said that. You guys are probably like, where the hell is that at? So on Patreon and Death's Radio, check that out. And we know that Operation Mind Crime was an album that was kind of telling the story of a drug user, whatever the case may be, but he was like sort of a, 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 in a secret organization. And yet we, we kind of get the story of Operation <laughs> Mind Crime. And a lot of you have always wanted us to do the entire album because of the story surrounding that album, right? So it's just like, it's kind of hard to get it, to appreciate the, the album in its totality if you're not digging into the story and following it along. Um, and we just have never gotten around to doing right. that. It's hard for us to do Damn near, it's harder for us to do any songs these days, <laughs> <laughs> let alone sitting here and doing a whole album. So, and plus we do other genres on this channel, so we have to have time for everything. So we opted to to not go back to the Operation Mind Crime album for that reason. Let's just get into something that isn't uh, so sort of tied into an you know um, an entire story, right? Mm -hmm. So we chose Empire. Shout out to Mr. Ryan Gonzalez. He said, "I like to see Lost," and this is on DeftoRadio.com. Yes. Uh, this was in uh, just a random post that Ryan put up. He said, I'd like to see Lost in Vegas give the mighty Queensryche a shot at redemption. I don't know if did they, did we? I guess we didn't really care for the last song we did, yeah. but we liked Eye of the Stranger, so it isn't like a traditional redemption band where we just don't like anything from them. Like it, We kind of like stuff from Queensryche before, but I get it, though. I don't, I don't know if we love Take Hold of the Flame either, so right. yeah, I think it's appropriate for redemption. But Ryan said, shout out redemption. He said, I think Mind Crime is a, a really tall order, especially if you don't take in the entire story. Try Empire on for size. It's got a great groove and is a uh, compelling narrative. Shout out to Ryan Gonzalez, man. Yeah, man. Uh, for, I mean, make sure, again, you guys join. DeftRadio.com is just an example of, uh, of us just showing you that we are on here looking for reaction requests. So that's why we're here. And let's get into it, man. This is off of the uh, 1990 album. And the, the album's title is also Empire. So 90s Queens Right. Let's get into it. Queens Right, Empire. Next message. Saved Saturday at 924 p.m. I remember that answer. Two-ton heavy thing. That was a nice little tricky little yeah. intro, like how they dropped it in. Yeah. That, was, that was a little tricky, I guess based off of where I thought they were going to yeah. go. Yeah. yeah, that was that, that came was hot. in smooth. Yeah. Yeah. I was Like he, th he thought the uh, groove was gonna be quicker right after yeah. he said that, and, but they slowed it. They, uh, they had like a little slow bop with it again, and then the tone of the guitar. Yeah, right. buddy. Just wanted to acknowledge that. I know good, we just stopped it. Good job, yeah, Ryan. Yeah. Good job, boy. Yeah. yeah. So far, so good. Uh huh. <laughs> Last pause, last pause. <laughs> what did Ryan say? 
Brian said, uh, you know, uh, I think this, they, they'll like this because it'll have a cool groove and uh, a compelling narrative. I don't know about the narrative part, but my God, yeah, this groove <laughs> is so nasty to me, man. <laughs> and I just that. don't know why. Why don't why, why don't we make so why it, it it's almost like I feel like sometimes guys that when we listen to certain songs it's like yeah we're just you know it's got this and it's got give me the songs with groove all the time I want a good groove it, that should be one of the staples when you guys are like recommending something at least for me I'm not gonna talk to for George for Ryan yeah it's got to have a groove I got to be able to do this if I can't do that it's so hard for me to get into the song, man. It is so hard, man. Let me rephrase it. Fuck all what I just said. Give me a heads up. You know, if you say it's a great groove, then I'm like, okay, cool. Now I know how to mentally prepare for it. If I, if it's if it's a little strange and out there, just say that, hey, this is a little strange, it's out there. It's, it, it's groove. It, it doesn't have a, a groove at all, then I, I can at least just, as, just assume that it's gonna be strange and out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if we go into every reaction, thinking everything's going to be weird and strange, and then we get caught off guard by a groove, I think it's going to be even better. <laughs> the Eyes of a Stranger was actually a really good uh, introduction. Had we carried it to this one right after Eyes of a Stranger, and then like, okay, okay, now that we've got this, now I want to you guys, introduce you guys into something else. Yeah. I just feel like it's just, it's, it's just a, it, there's an art to what to request and when to request it for where we are with the band, I feel like. But that's, maybe I'll, that's another rant. I'm, almost, I'm about to get into another rant, so never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Last night the working dog attended Jonathan. I'm sorry. You know what? I'm not a fan of the vocals, but it works. Maybe because the groove is so that's nasty. Why. Oh my God. That's why. He was like, wrong the day. Boom, boom. Yes, yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's what it is. That's what I'm sorry to stop it again, but I want y'all to understand. This is an example where, for me, if I heard these vocals a cappella, I'd be like, man, get the fuck out of here. I just know. <laughs> just, just know. But they're not bad, but it's just like, uh uh. This groove is carrying. Anything. He would have to go out of his way. He would have to fucking uh, yodel or some shit on this track to fuck up this groove. He's got that Dallas Cowboys 1990s offensive line protecting him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right now. Yeah. All right, we're going to let it rock this time. We're going to let it rock. Last night, the working dog Tim Dan and John. George, I was like, is this like the meddled out version of like East Coast, West Coast gang violence and shit? Maybe they made this for me. Maybe they made this for people of color because this motherfucker's groovy as hell, though. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> even how he's 
saying the lyrics. He's trying to swag it out. I don't know if he's doing a good job swagging it out, but I'm like, yeah, you know, I get it, man. So I don't know, man. I'm enjoying this. All of our metal kind of elitist guys are probably like, man, get this all the way the fuck up out of here. It's not difficult enough. And maybe you just want something a little bit more, um, just intricate as far as uh, the, the guitar play and just instrumentation. But dude, I'm enjoying the fuck out of this. I would be surprised if uh, the Metalheads didn't love the music in this. I think the Metalheads are probably gonna be um, where I'm at. And it's just that I just think it's a little, <laughs> I hate to use the word cringy. I love, first of all, let me say this. I love the 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 substance in this, right? I think Ryan Gonzalez said there, it's a compelling narrative in the story and I'm hearing that compelling narrative especially coming from yeah queen's right to tell this story right because he said last night the word came down 10 dead in chinatown and he said you know what's wrong with the kids today i'll tell you right now they've got nothing to lose they're building an empire then mm -hmm. he said johnny used to work after school got a hustle if he wants an education yep. he's got a long way to go now he's out on the streets all day the streets all day selling crack to the people got an ak-47 for his best friend business this is the american way right so he's talking he, he's talking about some real shit Verse three looks like he's saying black man trapped again, holds his chain in his hand. Yeah. Brother killing brother for the profit of another. Game point, nobody wins. Yeah. Like they talking, he, yeah. he, he's got something real to say. Yeah. And he's from the outside looking in. For them to even talk about the American way and the plight of yeah. the, the black community in this song, I think in 1909, I'm like, wow, that, mm -hmm. that's actually uh, very interesting. But I just think the, the way he sounds in talking about, about <laughs> <laughs> brother kill another, it's just, it's a little, that's a little cringy, but I think uh, the the content itself is something to, to, to chew on. You know what I mean? So I appreciate them for that. And the music is the star of the show. Yeah, the music is the star of the show for this. Let's, uh, let's get back to it. Black man trapped again, holds his cheese in his hand. Yeah. <laughs> he was kind of writing right there. I ain't gonna lie though, because he said black man trapped again. He holds his chain in his hand. He's the one. Like yeah. when he says trapped again, I think he's inferring slavery, yeah. right? Like uh -huh. in chains and shackles. But in this time, he's holding his own chain yep. in his hand, right? Because he feels trapped yep. and um, chasing this American dream, right? Or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. So I thought that that was actually really well written mm -hmm. right there. Let me uh, let me pull that back. <laughs>
man, this was this was a this is a great listen though, in my opinion. Yeah, I, right. I think that's that I, I think that this was a really 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 dope song musically. I think musically they crushed it, and I do appreciate them talking about what it seems like is the fall of the the American dream or the yeah. empire of America, right? You can you feel it coming? Can you feel? Hear the signs, right? The yeah. symptoms, right? You got you know uh, impoverished uh, demographic of people to feel the need to, to to try to hustle in the streets and to sell drugs to their own people. Um, and while the government seems to be spending money on space exploration instead of dedicating it to, you know, fighting crime and all these things, like this is the fall of the empire. Can you feel it coming? Is how I'm taking the the song. I think he's saying that the American dream um, was a facade, right? It's a facade. It's supposed to be this. Oh, you go get an education, but you gotta in order to pay for your education, you gotta hustle in the streets. Because yeah. he said something like that: um, hustle in the streets, sell drugs to your own people, essentially killing your own people in order to to. You know what I'm saying? Get money for an education. You can't afford education, I think is the point he's making. Yep. So, But that's also the American way, but the American way yep. is also leading to the demise of America. So can you feel it coming? That's that's how I'm off of yep. first listen, how I'm taking the lyrics. So I thought the story, the content was compelling the way he delivered it. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't know if I like the way he, it sounded being delivered out of his mouth and the can you feel it coming? Not sure if I like the way that sounded. Yeah. Ryan mentioned empire. Yeah. I, I just, I understand artistically uh-huh. empire. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they're trying to get that, you know, make that, just the sound of it artistically. They're trying to co- make it come off a certain way, but I just didn't like the way he delivered it. But the music set all that aside. Yeah. The music in this was some of the nastiest shit <laughs> I have heard in a, in a little while. Yeah. They were playing their asses off on that. So, man, much love to Queens right, man. Now, this is, in terms of, if I wanted to really just give it, a score it would have a high score if I'm just talking about artistically what I thought of the song. Yeah. It would have a very high score. Well, I want to go listen to it again. Probably not because yeah. of just the way it sounded with the the um, the vocals and the delivery of the vocals. Yeah, I don't have much to add to that, man. Um, I really um, didn't like that Empire part, and I really didn't like that East Side and West Side. I didn't really like that a lot either. Uh, if that was gone and that uh, Empire that was out too, dude, it, this is playlist for me. Yeah. If those two things were gone, this would be a playlist for me. Instrumentation, I love that, man. And that was a good listen, man. I might give it another spin, but yeah, that... I, the thing about me, guys, certain things that I don't like in music, even in movies, even in, in a whole bunch of things, if there's one thing that, that really distracts me, man, it really is hard for me to ignore it unless I really love everything else. And I don't really love everything else about this song. It's good, though. They were jamming their ass off and rocking out. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it'll make a uh, playlist for me either, man. Just for, just yeah, yeah. That those two things for me is just really, really uh, blaring. But dude, they jam. They like, man, I needed that though. That this was jamming the fuck out. Seriously, I love everything about this song musically. I, I actually do love the music. If you got the instrumental to this, because I could put this up against a lot of these reactions that we said we like, and I guarantee you, if we listen to them side by side, we'd probably be saying, yeah, that's this true. is shitting on a lot that's of true. them. Keep it that's real. True. So I love everything instrumentally about this song. So please, if you if they have an instrumental, <laughs> just without the vocals and all that, I got it, cool. I appreciate the story, the content, but let's just, uh, for me, as far as me playing it again, Give me the instrumental. I will bang that. I promise you that. So let us, you know, let us know if, y'all, if they have the instrumental available anywhere on any streaming platform. All right. That's the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed that, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And also, guys, make sure y'all check out our Patreon channel. Of course, DefterRadio.com. Great way to support us by uh, checking both those platforms out. It's also a great way to kind of get on our radar as yep. far as getting requests in front of us. So that way we can kind of get to the stuff that you guys want us to get to. The link for both will be in the uh, description. I'm George. That's Ryan. Lost to Vegas. We out. We out.